the very true legend of the Mongolian Death Worms by Sandra Fay. The very true legend of the Mongolian Death Worms. Legend has it that deep beneath the blazing sands of the Gobi Desert live the most terrifying and deadly creatures. Their skin is blood red. Their fangs are razor sharp. They spray poisonous venom. And they shock with electricity if you dare touch them. All who know of the legend fear to even utter their name. Mongolian Death Worms. Want to know a secret? It's not just a legend. Mongolian Death Worms do exist. But legends have a habit of not being exactly true. Here is the real truth. Mongolian death worms are actually quite soft and cuddly. Cushiony, in fact, like a sofa. So very, very soft. Their skin is more pinkish than blood red. Like cotton candy or bologna. So very very pink. Their teeth are only slightly pointy. And meticulously brushed. Dental hygiene is so important. They do spit when they talk sometimes, but they would never, ever spray venom. Venom? Never. Saliva is a perfectly adequate secretion. And they only sometimes accidentally give electric shocks if the air is extra dry. Uh, that only happened once. You can't always believe everything you hear. Introducing the Mongolian deathworm family. Mom Beverly, hello there. Dad Trevor, Salutations. And their two sons, Neville. Greetings. And Kevin. Sup. Mongolian deathworms are the most misunderstood creatures in the entire desert. For centuries, because of these rumors drifting through the Gobi, the worms have had to hide away in their tunnels only briefly appearing when they need fresh air. It's no fun being a Mongolian death worm. How would you feel if everyone froze in fear every time you needed fresh air? The worms decide it's time for a change. They hold a family meeting. Beverly, a stickler for formalities, has the first idea. If they wore name tags, they could introduce themselves to everyone in the desert. They all agree it's a great idea. Who doesn't just adore name tags? But it does not go so well. Trevor, a fashion fanatic, believes he has a solution. If they wore snazzy outfits, they would look less Mongolian death wormy. They all agree, it's a great idea. The snazzier the better. But it does not go so well. Neville and Kevin, both clever in the kitchen, have a suggestion. They could make delicious snacks and share them. They all agree it's a great idea. 
with chocolate frosting. And rainbow sprinkles. But it does not go so well. The Mongolian deathworms are exhausted and sad and confused. If only their pleasant introductions, snazzy attire, and friendly hospitality could be appreciated. Our snazzy outfits. Our adorable name tags. Our rainbow sprinkles. Our chocolate frosting. <sighs> There's nothing else they can do but crawl back into their tunnels. They fall fast asleep. While the worms are sleeping, something unexpected happens in the desert. It rains. More unexpectedly, it rains more. And even more unexpectedly, it rains even more. Soon the desert is no longer a desert. No one knows what to do. Beverly, Trevor, Neville, and Kevin are woken by a commotion and wet, watery stuff all around them. When they open their eyes, they discover something new about themselves. Mongolian deathworms can float! Quick! Put on the name tags! Fast! Get the rainbow sprinkles! Hurry! Don the snazzy outfits! Pronto! Prepare the delicious snacks! Could this be their chance to show that they are not terrifying and deadly? Mongolian deathworms to the rescue! Beverly, Trevor, Neville, and Kevin save the day. There's now a new legend drifting through the Gobi Desert. It goes like this. Deep beneath the blazing sands live the most soft and cuddly creatures. Their skin is rosy pink, their teeth are well brushed and flossed. They have impeccable table manners and they are the nicest, kindest creatures in the entire desert. All who know of the legend love to hang out with the Mongolian deathworm family. Except on days when the air is extra dry. Uh -oh. The end.